um, first degree robbery, residential robbery, alleged armed with firearm. What is up vlogger nuts? All right, we are at a storage facility, obviously. I've got a load in here of stuff we've already gone through from here. This is a big 10 by 25 that we bought at the auction this morning for just one dollar. 10 by 25. This was all full. This is all full. Black and yellow totes. Look at these golf clubs. We haven't looked at them yet. Let me switch to my iPhone because I get I want to look back here. There we go, much better. iPhone's got a light on it, and it's got much better low light. It works better in the low light, that's what I'm trying to say. So back here, okay, ah, geez, got a big recliner right here, this sucks. And got some more tables or something back there, but the red red totes look kind of interesting. There is stuff back there. Man, I see, see that wood thing right there? Oh, I think it's a headboard for a bed. I'm hoping it's a headboard for a bed. Please don't be a piano. What is that? Oh, that's a microwave back there. I hadn't seen any of this before. So we got these white boxes back here. That's kind of interesting because those look old. These are kind of interesting too because, uh, okay, they're kind of lumpy. And I thought, no, they're not closed, but I can feel right here this hangers. So it probably is closed. I don't know. But uh, let's take a look at this because, well, this right here is a pipe bending tool. And uh, that's for electricians or plumbers or something. What do we got here? Precise. Precise, it says precise. That looks like a nice putter, but I don't think it's high end. Maverick right here, is that good? I don't think so. Oh wait, it's Callaway. All right, I take it back. I take it back. Uh, here's the precise right here. Precise M5. Hopefully that's good, but I don't think so. What is this? Skills, gold flex. I bet you that's for practicing your swing or something. I've never come across one of those before. There's a uh, wood right here. That was a Nike, Nike. Um, but what's this? I've got some other putters right here. Mm. Taylor made Monte Carlo Rosa. That looks interesting. And then we got another putter right here. Putters are potentially where the money's at, you know? Power built. Bump and run. TPS. No clue, guys. No clue. That could be good. Could be decent. Bag looks all right. Looks clean. And then we got a second one here. This is Ray Cook. Ray Cook. I don't think that's for that. That's something different. All right, what do we got back here? There's Precise again right there, M5. Wait, this is not Precise, though. What is this? Steve Leonard. Centerfire. Pin Seeker. Pin Seeker. Pin Seeker. Pin Seeker. Pin Seeker. Pin Seeker. Ray Cook. Silver Ray right there. That might be something. What's this? Taylor made. Looks a little beat up, but that might be something decent. All right, these look okay. This one is, what does that say? Steve Leonard. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Nice bag though, but um, it's, eh, let's hope it was a trunk. It, I don't know. It looks like a little cardenza or something. I don't know what it is. But look at this, guys. So we did not show this right here. Fender. Uh, this grate looks like it's been pulled back. I don't think that's. A, I don't think it's supposed to stick out right here. So who knows what condition this is? Hmm. Keyboard 200. Keyboard 200 SFX subwoofer line out. I don't know. It's been the, the line's been taped. Looks like they broke the power cord and spliced in another one or something. Uh -huh. A little Frankenstein right there. Tore right here. But uh, still, big beefy amplifier or something. Fender. All right. That's kind of interesting. We had a bunch of... We had a big wardrobe box that was covering this. It was right here in the way. Didn't see that before, so that was a good find. The wardrobe box had all clothing in it, so I went through that off camera. This right here is... Kind of interesting. Copper Chef Pro. Deluxe family style. Uh, family size. Copper crisper. For an oven air fryer pan set. Okay. Oh, this this is kind of neat. I think that might be a little bit. A little bit. Oh, okay. But this stuff we already went through over here. This is all new right here. <laughs> okay. And that's interesting right here. Got some jewelry boxes. Do we have jewelry let's find out right now let's get this video started exciting okay now, i don't like how this is open oh okay this was a watch at one point there's a couple pieces of the band they must have got it sized down no name on the box yeah that's that's not from the jewelry store that looks like an amazon label Bulova diamond mother of pearl dial two-tone okay Okay, there's Bulova. <laughs> oh, dang it, there's nothing in there. Wow, almost, almost so beautiful. It's a different tone on those links, but it looks similar to those links. Just different color. Face mask? I don't know. The fur wizard. The wizard. Oh, what's this? New, brand new watch. 
Oh, it's cheap though. It's plastic. Cheapy, 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 cheapy. It says Geneva. I don't believe. Uh. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We'll put that stuff aside. This stuff here can go to the flea market. Let's grab this tote and see if we can get any more good stuff. A couple more totes back there too. String lights. Oh, those are kind of nice actually. Yeah, those are cool. You are loved. Let's see how much they loved us. Okay, M&M little plushie. Let's see how much love. Love, 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 love. No love. Meaning no money. No gift cards. But there's a sleep relaxation. A music to relax the mind and body for a deeper rest. Universal clip pens. What is this? I don't know. For your iPhone? Oh, they're for your fish eye. Okay, it gives a fish eye macro. All right, yeah, we've seen that stuff before. Oh, there's two of them. That one's brand new. Maybe we'll put it aside. <laughs> you might call it girls' night. I call it therapy, and it's a bottle opener. That is kind of funny. Oh my goodness, look at that. It was still, it's got battery and turns on. But it's actually ripped up right there. Okay, now don't get it. Ooh, ooh. Uh, there's no Apple logo, but it looks like an Apple box. It's empty anyways. Always my sister, forever my friend. Little, little cute little keychain. Wait a second. Wait a second. That envelope's a little heavy. Oh, there's another one. Same thing. <laughs> mm, little keyboard for your iPad. But look at the, look at the funky stuff on there. And the rain is back. It's raining again. I don't say hallelujah though. I'm tired of the rain. Boo rain. A little poker chip. And some stuff. Nothing ex expensive or impressive. Just stuff. Vibey. Makeup. Clear Nails Plus. And vitamins. Now oh, there's some Miller Lite keychains right there. And it looks like guitar picks too. That's kind of different. Empty Friskies can. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why did they keep that? I don't know. Oh, look at this little camera. It's still got the film on it, too. Look at, I mean, the film over the screen, not filming the camera. Obviously, this bad choice of words there, but a little... That's neat. A little um, data card right there. Charge it up right there. That's kind of different. There's the cord. I'll put that aside. It's fun. Toothbrush, toothpaste, bathroom stuff, roast mirror, gross stuff. We're gonna keep this though. I like using those. Hmm, some sort of glass pitcher right there. And pills just dropping out. Look at this. Pills, pills, pills. General contracts. Oh, it's an AT&T thing. Coffee mug. Hmm. Whoa, what's this? Is it silver? Jeez, guys, this could be silver right here. That doesn't look plated to me. Look at it, I'm cleaning the silver with my fingers. It's, it's definitely silver, but is it plated or sterling? I don't see any marks. I'm gonna have to take this home. I, I have a feeling this is not plated. This is, I don't know. I don't know, that's interesting though. That's nothing, that's nothing there. But this is, this is kind of interesting. That could be solid sterling silver right there. And if so, it's worth, it's worth some books. Books, Jack Daniels. Oh, this is cool. That was a photo album. I mean, it is, but it's not photos. We've got uh, postcards. London Bridge. Yeah, this is cool. Howdy from Tortilla Flat. Gold King Mine. This is cool. Arizona. All right, that's. I'm gonna put that aside. We'll probably pull all of them out, but we sell old postcards. People collect that. Catholic prayers. It's Ten Days to a Better Life. Oh, uh, devotional by Joel Olstein. What's this? Calendar. What's this? Gotta always look at these little tins. Might be some, uh, well, that one's empty, but definitely don't want to toss them before checking them. In junk mail, guys, and we have found a lot of junk mail in this locker. A lot. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, a pocket scale. <laughs> Another pocket scale. I found lots of pocket scales, too. Yeah, they dealt in a lot of things that need to be weighed, if you know what I mean. Now, let me check the rest of this, see if there's anything in here. 
Okay, guys, um, that had some interesting paperwork in there. We're going to blur this out so you can't see any personal information. And the name on here doesn't match any of the mail or anything that we found already. So this is somebody else. But this is all one, two, three, four, five court documents, sets of court documents by a gentleman from 2018 to 2019. All different charges. Um, first degree robbery, residential robbery, alleged armed with firearm, use of firearm, personal use of firearm, first degree residential burglary, special allegation, another person present, armed with firearm, all right, uh, receiving stolen property, unlawful driving or taking of a vehicle, my goodness, and then over here, possession of illegal substance in a jail facility, unlawful driving or taking of a vehicle, receiving stolen property, which is a motor vehicle, over here, again, unlawful driving or taking of a vehicle. Receiving stolen property, motor vehicle. This guy is in so much trouble. And then over here, receiving stolen property, receiving stolen property, receiving stolen property. Unlawful driving or taking of a vehicle. Man, and there's other charges on here. I'm just kind of trying to hit the, the main ones. And then this other, last one over here, which is the thickest case yet. Unlawful driving or taking of a vehicle. Special allegation prior auto theft conviction. Receiving stolen property, motor vehicle, special allegation, prior auto theft conviction. <laughs> Receiving stolen property, motor vehicle, special allegation, prior separate prison term. Unlawful driving or taking a vehicle, special allegation, prior separate prison term. So that's four times he's received a stolen car, apparently, and all of them had special allegations added to it because of past trouble. Man, man. So that's not uncommon for us to find stuff like that. Uh, not, not uncommon at all, really, but still, it's always interesting, right? It's always interesting, but like I said, I don't think that was the person who owned this locker, and who knows, she may have been like uh, some kind of like public servant helping people get through court cases. She may be a victim of this person and uh, had, was present at his court in that way involved. I don't really know, but we did find some drug paraphernalia in here, and we did find some other stuff that makes us think that this person wasn't maybe on the total straight and narrow. Who knows if they had some trouble, but uh, yeah, this could very well be a felon's storage locker. Maybe that's more interesting. Maybe it's not. Let's keep digging and see if we find more interesting stuff. Let's grab the suitcase. And like I said, we were digging already this morning. So this is not uh, early in the day in, anymore. I already took a full, uh, kind of, you know, whatever. I took a van load already to the metal and electronics recycling, which made a huge dent in this thing. This right here is all stuff we processed earlier. I'm gonna take that over to our storage locker on the way home tonight and drop it off just to make room in here. When we got rain, I can't be working outside. I gotta work inside this unit, so it was really important for me to clear some space, and I'm happy to say that I did it. I did it. Well, we did it. Jan was helping me this morning. Okay, what we got here? Oh, okay. Somebody got an iPhone. No iPhone, but they did leave me with the USB-C cable and the iPhone connector. That's a nice little cable. We need more of those in our house. So. Good fun. Okay, now. I see mail. More junk mail, but I do see something really good in here, guys. Do you see it? A porta potty <laughs> If you know, you know. All right, let me go through this stuff here. See if there's anything good. It doesn't look like it. Well, you never know. Oh, there's another lock. Ooh, that'd be nice if I found the key to that. Let me put that aside. Okay, the only thing I found in there, which is kind of good, but not really that good, is this Camry Owner's Manual 2011. I had already found this right here, so I'll put that back in there, and we'll put it aside. There's, there's a little bit of resale value on that, but not too much, but there is a little bit. Okay, now let's see what's in the suitcase. The suitcase is, the zipper pole has been broken off. You can get those replaced, but... Oh, wait, this is heavy. Anyway, there's another USB-C to iPhone cable. All right, and we got some jumper cables. This is power bank, a little power battery backup right there. Okay, this is actually good right here. I, I think I'm, short, I'm down one of these. I, I tend to like to keep these in my truck, and I don't think I have one in my GMC. And when I find somebody that needs a jump, I usually jump them and then give them the cables, because I always find more. Look at that little cute little bat. T-ball. Rawlings. Huh. I don't know if that has any value. Probably should look that up just in case. There's some nice gloves. They're thick. Extra grip too. We need two to tango. Oh, there it is. Okay, I might put those aside. 
Oh, look at this, another set. Oh no, this is the headphones this time for the iPhone. Because there's another iPhone box. Performance, thermal base light. Oh, that's soft. Huh, X Heat, TJ Maxx. Huh, that's brand new. I'm gonna put those aside. RBX, they may, maybe they're worth a little bit. Brand new, brand new, brand new. And who doesn't keep a craft pure honey pack in your suitcase? I know I do, always. This, that's a nice little bag right here. Huh, that is nice. I don't want to be all geeking out over a bag, but that's a pretty nice little bag. And it's got that hook right there. That's so cool. That is cool. I like it. I'm weird, though. It's just a grody white t-shirt. Round tree. That's a nice shirt. Dress shirt. Coleman thermos. Oh, it's like a soft one. Hmm. It's got liquid in there. Gross. Let's dump it out. It's water. It's not pee. It's water. All right. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is... I think a back brace for lifting. Support belt, yep, Western Safety. That's nice, nice to have. Okay, let's grab this. I think it's gonna be closed. Let's find out. It is closed. Oh my goodness, it's starting to rain like crazy. There's pink, that's actually kinda nice. Those sell pretty decent. But, mm. <laughs> and look at that, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Ah, look at the other stained up on the back side there that's kind of gross a couple nice sweaters here all right i'll go through this guys I'll, I'll tell you if there's anything good in here don't hold your breath it's happy bunny yeah that's kind of neat it's got the happy bunny oh that's a neat logo that, that's cool oh that's, that's actually high loser that's really funny all right that'll put aside to a better market right there Okay, and all that, one piece I really do like, and that's this Tasmanian Devil piece, playing football. It's an embroidered piece, look at that. It's actually pretty pretty cool. Unfortunately, they, she really liked to tear her tags off. So the tags are gone. She doesn't sell us the, tell us the maker, it doesn't tell us the size. But there's a Looney Tunes tag right there. It's a, le a legitimate, authentic Looney Tunes shirt. That's cool. I like it, that's going to the better market. Otherwise, I'm taking all the flea market, you know, stocked and stuff, throwing it back in the suitcase right here. Let's grab another dog bag. A bag in a bag. <laughs> okay. Happy Halloween face tattoos. Fancy little skirt right there. This is a little bit nicer clothes, I think. Fancy. I feel I feel hangers in here too. So let me again let me go through this and I'll tell you what good stuff we find. Wow, it's, it's really raining now. Oh my goodness. But the back of my truck's not getting too wet. Uh, actually, the inside of my door is. I'll close it up. Um, but we're doing okay in here. I just, I gotta be careful that, about this mattress getting too wet. Oh, dang, this is getting soaked. Hmm. That should help. Uh, it's a little darker in here, though. Dang, it's dark. But anyways, uh, we went through that whole bag. The only thing I pulled out was this, and I don't think they're anything, but they kind of remind me of those Miss Me jeans, and it's called Red Rivet. They look a little bit nicer, so I'm going to put those aside. I don't know if that's a smart thing to do or not, but whatever. And then this bag right here, uh, let me go through that next. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, Raiders. It's an old Raider shirt, but it's all tore up. They tore it up. Oh, man, okay. Look, guys, I just moved those pads that were here, and right here is another, it looks like a recliner. That just sucks. And it looks like it's all tore up from cats, too. I'm not sure what this is back here. Maybe a telescope or something? Oh, yeah, mead telescope. That's cool. Got some window blind shades right here. I don't know where I'm going to put that. Let's do this one. Oh, I see some handbags. Purses, guys, purses. That's better. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's not leather and it's all peeling off. See that? That <laughs> sucks. Well, I mean, at least you used it to its max, to its full lifespan, but there's no resale on that. You buy cheap stuff, it doesn't last very long. Look at this one with the tassels or whatever you call it, fringe. I don't know what you call that. Dream control, it says. These ones have been cleaned out of all their dreams. My dream. My dream is to find some money in there. Okay, that's a sellable purse, probably. Uh, ugly boots. Bummer. Just a few purses, and it looks like getting into some shoes. Okay, now this one feels leather. Ooh, this is nice. I love this this color leather. Oh dang, this is actually pretty nice. I don't see a brand on it, but this is a this is a nice piece. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up just a tad, but is this is a nice piece right here. Made in China. Uh-oh, lights out. All right, guys, I emptied that entire garbage bag of shoes out, and there's some of the ugliest shoes I've ever seen in my life, but these ones aren't so bad. 12 bucks brand new, though, and um, yeah, I, I, I just taken them all to Stockton. There's, there's probably some in there that aren't even matched. These are kind of cool. They're cowboy boots, leather. I think they're leather. And uh, Roper, it says R-O-P-E-R, -E Roper. I can't see much. It is getting a little dark in this unit because if I open it to let the light in, we get the rain. Right now we're operating on just one little light bulb right there. It's not that bright, but um, we do have a pair. So we're going to put those aside. And found one more handbag. That's it. And this one is Juicy Couture. So that's good, right? Ju Juicy Couture is always a good find. And huh, the strap in there, but I don't think it goes to this. It looks like navy blue, and this is black. Uh, the inside is definitely well loved. Let's just put it that way. Makeup stains, etc. But look at there's the juicy couture tag. Have a juicy day. Love, G and P. It's a nice purse. It is. It's a little dirty, but it could be cleaned up. I don't know. That one's that one's a little more interesting to me. To moi, I'll put it away. We'll put it down here in our keeper box. This is our good box. Okay. This is kind of exciting. Let's see what's in the black and yellow tote. Looks like this might be the only one. Ooh, right behind is a speaker box. And there, I thought there was no speakers. There's one speaker and that's a kicker. That's good. What is this? Oh, whoa, well, look at this. Oh, that's cool. 1999 Mattel. Yes. All right, neat. That's a neat piece, okay. We have something a little better. What is this? FBI. FBI Academy. It's empty though. Huh. What is this? The plastic. Looks like pearls, but they're not. Man, guys, the rain is getting worse. All right, let's see here. What else we got in here? A little cushion for your tush. A little folder. Man, this is not, not good stuff. Oh, that's cool. Sterling and Noble. Nice big clock. State Fair Bingo. The Waterfront Fairgrounds. Oh, it's... Oh. Huh, that's kind of neat. And then just some picture frames. Brand new. We got a, a actual wreath. Not an artificial one, but a real one. And it's just shredding in my hand. Let's see what this is. Kind of like this. Interceptor Tactical Footwear. Okay, we got photos. Oh, this looks like a personal box, and if it is, we'll definitely get this back to them. They want it back. Letters and stuff. Yeah, we'll get this stuff back. Dang it, I was hoping for uh, some boots. But let me look through here and just make sure there's no, like, jewelry or something else in here besides paper. Okay, guys, and this right here is why I do it. This is why I spend the time going through it. Look at this right here. Oh, dang. What is this stuff? I don't know what that is, but this, look at this. $2 bills. Oldies. That's pretty cool. I can't even see the date because it's so dark in here, but oh yeah, yeah, that's why we go through it. That's why we do it. We got to go through this box. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. Not too much excitement. I did find this little love sticker. Why do I think that's so cool? I don't really know, but and then we found this Zales, the diamond store. Exciting for a moment, but alas, it is empty and exciting no more. <laughs> All right, good morning, Locker Nuts. Check it out. It is actually kind of kind of all right today. It's kind of nice. A little little okay. It's blue skies. The sun was out just a few minutes ago, but no rain, and that's good. Last night, it actually thunder and lightning downpoured, and even in the locker, it got so, so um, stormy. I mean, the, the rain on the metal roof was making so much noise. I didn't even know if you guys could hear me. I wound up just going through a bunch of garbage bags and some boxes and stuff. I would have started the film if I found anything good. I really did. And I went through actually a fair amount of stuff last night. So when we get into the locker, I'm going to update you guys uh, as to the best stuff I found. I found a little bit of interesting clothes. Not so much vintage, but just interesting clothes. We'll update you that. Uh, but this morning, got to pack up an eBay sale. Check this out. I got sold this little plane right here. 120 bucks. 
Bucks. This is from the train locker. We're still selling stuff. He paid $25.95 on it, but these are out of production. They're very rare and they're very collectible. These little tiny die cast planes, they're very detailed. 120 bucks. I think that's going to a foreign uh, address. It's going right now up to Oregon, but I think it's going to get transferred uh, internationally. So a lot of international sales on those little planes. Pretty cool. All right, let me grab my pickup. Today's a dump day. We're going to grab the pickup and go get a dump load and then back to digging. All right, what's up, guys? We're here. We're back. Uh, the weather's holding for the moment. It looks like it could rain soon. It doesn't matter. I'm going to the dump. This stuff can get wet. It's okay. <laughs> the door's messed up on this side. It takes a little finagling to get it to go. And yes, in case you guys were asking, I am wearing the same uh, sweatshirt and jeans as yesterday because it, I got dirty yesterday. I don't want to dirty up a new sweatshirt. So don't judge me. It is what it is. Here's how we left it. Found the speaker in that speaker box. This is the clothes I want to show you guys in a second, but here's what it looks like. A lot different, right? It's definitely looking a lot more organized and a lot better. And we got back here. There was a whole bunch of garbage bags and I went through them all. And it was almost all clothes or stuffed animals or shoes. Not that exciting. We got a couple duffel bags. And then these boxes, hopefully are going to get interesting back there, but furniture doesn't look any better. It's a bunch of DVDs right here. Yeah, 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 yeah whatever <laughs> i'm not that excited about it to be honest this stuff was just mediocre i was really hoping for like a little something good the lady apparently is not happy she's losing it she i think saved this one last time it went to auction or something and she asked for her memorabilia stuff back that's it right here not much not much so far hardly any photos and that's suspicious to me that's suspicious to me maybe they're back there but whenever we don't find a lot of photos to me that says either they lost their storage before or this wasn't their only storage or I don't know what they came and got the stuff they wanted. Maybe they're just scared they left a few. But it definitely feels like maybe I don't I don't know if this has been gone through before by the owners. I'm saying by the owners before they defaulted. But oh man, it's not like I can't believe people pay money to store this stuff. Really, there's not anything good in here. And the gar the uh, furniture is mostly all garbage. So really, it's not worth a, a one month's rent in my opinion. But I know there's sentimental value. But uh, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. All right, let's get loading for the dump. Okay, this is actually kind of nice. Look at that. That's decent. We'll be able to sell that. Put that aside. Oh, that is cool too. Audrey Hepburn. I you, you probably can't see it, but it's it's super dirty. There's like yellow stuff here and dripping down. So gross, but neat print. That's also kind of nice right here. Not bad. Sellable. A few bucks, five maybe. Another Audrey Hepburn. Also super dirty, especially near the bottom. Gross. Someone might clean it up. Oh, it's a wood block piece. It's a round piece of wood right here. Pine. Oh, what is this? It's got a whiteboard, but it's got something kind of electrical on the back. Well, I got that far, which is pretty much loaded. I just didn't have time to strap it down. And uh, it's starting to pour rain again. Unfortunately, the rain comes at an angle where it's getting inside the unit, so I gotta lower that, and that makes it very dark in here. Not ideal for digging, but I got those two chests out of here. One was nasty, it had a cushion on top all stained. The other one was a lane. It looked mid-century, that's too bad, but uh, what you guys didn't see was the bottom was all water damaged, so like the wood was swollen up along the bottom and was splitting and it's just it was in bad shape also the uh the hinge had cracked off the back so i just gotta take it to the dump you know i mentioned this in the last video i think but the flea market is like an hour away and i don't have my big trailer right now so i'm running u-hauls which are much smaller than my trailer every load is precious an hour from here cost me somewhere between 80 and 100 bucks in gas right so i can't bring everything out there unfortunately and i don't have room to store it and i need to clean this out we bought it yesterday they're giving us just a few days clean this one out because they have somebody who wants to rent it immediately so i got a boogie so some of this that's going to the dump that maybe shouldn't but that piece i i feel both those trunks really should go as well as this couch right here it's like got poop or something on mud i don't know what they get on there but i know they had dogs maybe a dog pooped on it i don't know but it's nasty it's thrashed and then these couches as i mentioned in the last video very outdated soft fabric stuff does not sell right now not since covid still feeling the repercussions of that virus soft 
furniture, soft fabric furniture does not sell unless it's some kind of modern looking piece, that kind of stuff. Very dated and very not able to sell. I mean, not even give, when I say sell guys, I will give it away. We put it for free on Craigslist and market, Facebook Marketplace. Nobody picks it up. So I'd be happily give it away for free. It'll save me dump fees, but that one probably is gonna gotta go. But I'm, I am gonna list that one and see if we can get it gone before. But this piece right here, this one's, this one's, there's no hope, no hope. And 10 minutes later, the sun's shining. This weather is crazy. Okay, kind of want to show you guys the better clothes that I pulled out last night. And it's not all like great stuff, but it's a little better, I think. So this right here, this Rockin' Republic, I know it's made in China. I know it's not anything super expensive, but the Rockin' Republic jeans I found seem to be a little bit better quality. There's dog hair all over it though, jeez. Or maybe I changed my mind. I sent that to Stockton. Ah, dirty stuff. This, oh yeah, here's Rockin' Republic, but it looks like they painted the jeans. I don't know, I just think that's a little cool. Maybe someone will buy that at the Better Flea Market. 10 bucks, right? Maybe. This right here, Rockin' Republic. There's another pair of jeans. Ah, oh, button's missing though. Stockton. All right, I don't think it's that great. That's why, if it was uh, True Religion jeans, button missing don't matter. This right here, Nygaard collection. It's made in China, but this is real leather, so it says. I don't know if that's, uh, and this is like a knit right here. I don't know if that's a look people are going for. It's a little crease right there, but um, yeah, I put it aside. This right here, Angora, freshman, made in China, very soft. Judo, uh, sleeveless shirt right here. I guess it's a tank top. It wasn't cut off, the, it was actually sewn right there, but this is a single stitch right here, guys. That's kind of neat, adult small. That's a vintage tank top right there. This one right here is not vintage, but it is cool. It's got a thing stuck in it. Jeez, these people are just so gross. But what a neat tank top, right? Budweiser. It's got the pocket right here. It's a 2XL or else I would probably keep it myself. I think that's a little big for me. Hmm. Sure is neat though. That's easily a $10 bill at the market. Maybe 20 2018 right there. Um, just a cool print. I don't think that's anything special, but I just like the print for some reason. <laughs> just looked a little, I don't know, psychedelic a little bit. This right here, um, no boundaries, I think it's Target, but it's got that cool Dia de los Muertos skull on it. It's very soft. I thought maybe, maybe. All right, look at this one. Roll it, light it. Extra large. <laughs> it's got a big old blunt on the back with the marijuana leaf. Anything with the marijuana print seems to sell very quickly at any flea market, really. This is American Eagle Outfitters. Uh, just a cool little piece right there. Crooks and Castle right here. Shirt, just kind of a neat print. This right here is a Tommy Hill figure, again with the dog hair all over it, but um, it's got the tags. The tags actually look a little moldy, like it got wet at some point. It's too bad the price is gone, but this is a nice sweater right there. I think I actually own the same sweater. A little tie-dye right here. Again, no boundaries. I think it's Target. It's no big deal, but tie-dye does a little bit better. Another one right here, but it says Happy Hour. It's got that cool moon skull print, Happy Hour size large tie-dye. This right here, just a cool looking tank top, and it is a Vans size medium. Okay, this right here, uh, True Religion. I love finding True Religion stuff. I, I just feel like it's great quality. It actually fits me really well, so I do dibs pieces quite often. Um, this is a size large. It's got like this felt um, letters right here, and it is wearing off on this part. So again, condition sucks on this stuff, but True Religion is a good brand for resale. This little hat right here, Song Ting, the Pioneer. Is that, is that what that says? Of, oh, I don't even know what that says. That's some other language because that doesn't even, that's not phonet phonetically correct. Again, dog hair all over it. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to send that to Stockton. I take my, changed my mind. I see it in the light and they look worse because its condition shows more. There's some um, yoga pants. Dang. Avia, size small. I didn't see this right here though last night, but uh, those are kind of. I don't know. They'll either love them or hate them. I don't know. Pool League World Championships right here. I, this is nothing special, but I just think it's kind of cool. Someone might like it. This, I think, is a really neat print. What does that say? Road, size large. You got, like, this Marilyn Monroe-looking character with tattoos on a motorcycle with death or a skull or something. Ride or die chick, it says right there. Neat. Again, um, camouflage does well also. So, it's a pair of dicky shorts. Betty Boop. Oh, nice shirt right here. Budweiser, King of Beers. I don't drink Budweiser, but I just think that's cool. It does look older. It's a double stitch, but it still looks older. The tag's gone, so it's hard to say. Oh, yeah, super cool tank top right here. Stay fresh with the 
Oops, can I do it? <laughs> Rocker sign there. Yeah, neat size large. And I think that's mostly it. This stuff I had looked at earlier, we showed it on camera. Bunch of cat, brand new cat collars right here. I only put those aside because I thought that'd be kind of fun to sell at the market, but it's like a couple bucks each. No big deal. But all of these right here, I'm thinking there's a couple $20 pieces in there, that, but there's quite a few $10 and at worst case, $5. Got a little bit of money here, a little bit. Oh yeah, and I didn't show it, but that kicker right here is a Comp 12, C12. I looked them up, they're about 100 bucks brand new. Is this one new? No. Does this one work? Probably, but I'll be selling it as is for probably 20 bucks. It's a good find. Okay guys, this is what we got to deal with back here. These Jana really liked, and what I see right here, Girl Scout, maybe it's got some Girl Scout collectibles in there. These old boxes often have collectibles, but who knows. That's an old AC unit right there. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get rid of that. Particle board organizer here. Yeah, look at how dirty this is. This has been sitting for quite a while because this is back in the unit. I don't know where those leaves are coming in through. They're coming in from somehow. A lot of spider webs back here. It makes me think mm, potentially some spiders back here. <laughs> Yeah, okay, and then um, this is where those two chests were right here. So glad to have gotten those out. This recliner is thrashed. I think I showed that earlier. I apologize if we're repetitive, but a little thrash with the cat right there, and plus the soft soft fabric, as I said. But um, ah, these were on the uh, trunks, and then behind it there's a, a massage chair. Old, thrashed, super heavy, I know, because we used to have one. And ay ay ay, what am I gonna do with that? Okay. Let's see what's in here. This is a nice bag and it's very heavy. This bag's worth a few bucks. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's a start. Apple, Apple, nice. These are old ones though, old computers. This is, looks like it's in decent shape though, MacBook. Let's get a number on this. Model A1181 right there. <laughs> Battery's dead, but that's not, that's not a big surprise. And then this right here, uh, what'd they call this? I think it's called the ice book or something. That one's coming apart. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, not nearly as good condition on this one. Whew, scuffed up. But this one, hmm. I don't see the Apple number on there. 2009 Apple. I don't see the number on there. What's what's that about? Hmm. Definitely this one's been opened. Maybe the guy worked on it. That's a bad sign. He probably didn't know what he's doing. So he puts the tape over the camera there. That's a little sketchy. We'll probably just take those to the market and let them go. Let them go. I found some big envelopes before too. That's good. I'll use those. And also found this last night. Craig activity tracker. Looks to be, is it brand new? I don't know. Possibly brand new. Possibly. Okay. Ugh. Hunter. Those, those look like they're probably kind of expensive. U.S. size 9. Hmm. That's, that's probably my size right there. I think they go over your shoes. Uh, AFC, a little boxing headgear there. Card tricks. Hmm. That's not card tricks. What is this? It's power cords, box cutter, screwdriver. Some miscellaneous stuff. Car charger, but it's empty. It's kind of a odd mix right there. There's a semantic, it's funny, this fabric looks so much like my Batman sweatshirt fabric. This is a nice little sweatshirt right here, double XL though, a little too big for me. So we'll take it to the market. I'd almost consider keeping that, washing it, and wearing it in these lockers, because these lockers destroy, it destroys your clothes really. Some clippers there, a couple tools, wire, kind of headphone thing there. Ugh. That's the charger for the Apple, but oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever found one in worse condition. Look at that. The wires are all broken. Uh, I think we're just going to let those go. Yeah. What's this? DuraFast. Guaranteed for life, huh? Really? Hmm. Let me put that aside. Ladle. Oh, there's the other boot. Right here we got, uh, looks like a pretty decent raincoat. Oh, London Fog. Okay. Yep. That would have come in handy today. We we're actually supposed to be at De Anza Flea Market today, but um, dang it, it rained us out. We paid 150 bucks for our booth and that's down the toilet. They don't give rain checks. They don't give uh, rain passes. We can't apply it to next month. It's just gone. Oh, Columbia right here. Columbia. National Geographic. Very nice. That's a, that's a nice jacket right there. I definitely love Columbia. Extra large. My size too. Hmm. Huh. Okay. That's cool. Maybe I'll wash it and see if the stuff comes out. And a little emergency jacket there. 
Professional Viking Journeyman 3000. That's probably worth some money right here. Size medium. Okay, won't get run over wearing that. Spider. This for a uh, paintball right here. For a paintball gun. Oh, I hope we find a paintball gun. That'd be fun. Cool. All right, that's it for that. Okay, let's grab the other one. I love that these have these wheels on them. Whoops. That was super loud. <laughs> okay, you know what? This needs a handle right here, though. I'm just saying. The manufacturer is watching my videos. I do offer consulting because apparently you need it. Needs another handle on this thing. All right. Ooh, okay. Oh, dang. Jeep backpack, but look at the corners thrash. Dang it. That's too bad. Jeep, usually decent quality, but this one's used up. Air pump. Golf towel. That's an interesting gloves right here. It's got like a silicon webbing on it. PVC coated gripper glove. Huh. That's different. I've never seen those before. Jägermeister. What is this thing? Sticks on something. Oh, maybe it's like a point of purchase display for supermarkets or something. It's different. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. Yeah. Neat. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just leave it like that. That was a little different backpack. Okay. Hmm. Huh. The Jägermeister lanyard right there. Box cutter. A couple decent uh, bungees there. Not, not too exciting here. Soap. The bag's nice. Hmm, okay. A lot of miscellaneous down there. Look, look at this bag. 511. I think that's like electrical, isn't it? Electrical. Oh, okay. Some patches. Cherryland. Engine 23. Alameda County Firefighters. Okay. Couple patches. That's a nice bag. It's heavy duty. Beard care. All right. Just a box. Junk mail. Chalk transfers. That's interesting. Okay. Jesus, there's another backpack. <laughs> they have a bag in a bag in a bag. That's multi-level bagging. You could almost say he had a lot of baggage. More, more, more. Okay. Paint pen. These are some nice pens, actually. Like this one right here, Energel. That's a nice pen. I like pens. Okay. That's another good one right there. Okay. Garbage. Socks. Clip on sunglasses. And a cigarette. I thought there was more. Wait, junk mail. That's it. Dang it. Wait, I thought there was more in here. A big old truck coming in here. That'd be nice. I'd love to have one of those. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, I can feel a lot of stuff in that. Mm, mm. Okay, that <laughs> I thought there was a lot more stuff in here. That red bag was in this bag still. We had so many, so many bags and bags and bags and bags. I got lost. I got lost in the bags. So video box, pill container. Uh-oh, this doesn't look so good though. What's this? Oh, Versace? Come on. No. <laughs> Dang, that would have been nice, right? Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, man, guys, it stinks in here, too. That's nice. Hmm. Vans, no wonder. All right, guys, we're going to start getting into this stuff. Let's grab this to start with. Ooh, that definitely looks like spiders. Okay. <laughs> Badass formula. Good for you ingredients, huh? Is it in there? Hmm, what is this? Huh. This is this is some uh, brand new cosmetics right here. Okay, deck and scarlet, deck of scarlet. Huh. All right, the box is kind of grody. Some kind of mail order stuff. Maybe that's worth a little bit. I don't know. Let that go. Pot holder. Hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> I'm nervous. God, look how gross and dirty that is too. It's not just the spider webs and dust. It's yellow, funky funk. That's pretty nice right there. Some bubbles, game dice. Oh, this is brand new stuff right here. Hmm, nice. This stuff will sell. Super glue, we'll take that home. Yeah, it's good stuff. Quaker Oats. That's still brand new. Best before 2021 January. We'll let those go. 
And those are kind of dirty. Bent up paint thing. All right, guys, I was just, oof. I think I'm gonna stop narrating this. It's getting kind of boring, this Fruit Loops, yuck. Some more food. 2022, it's not too old, but it is old. 21. Sea salt, that doesn't go bad, right? 2025. <laughs> Ocean spray cranberry juice. And shampoo and stuff in here. Seven bucks. Five dollars on this. A little compact. Wow, five bucks. Jeez. Knock knock. Any spiders home? <laughs> it's electronics. Maybe I'll wait on that one. I'm gonna wait on that one. Let's see what's in here. There's a little metal, metal shelf right there. I could take that back to the recycling. Calendar, yuck. Oh man, look at that gross. It's a foot spa, it's just all dirty. A couple computer bags here. Let's check those out. This one's a Samsonite. Bail bonds. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy was arrested. There no computers, just a bunch of paperwork. And um, you know, it's kind of funny. Yesterday, I found stuff that showed that he was a, a felon multiple times. And I forgot that. When Jana was here, and we were going through stuff, I say he because it was a guy's name, but this is a woman's locker. But when Jana was here, we found stuff from San Quentin prison. San Quentin's like, that's not light level. That's like heavy duty, right? That's like where Scott Peterson is. I think that's where Charles Manson is. Or did Charles Manson die? I don't, I don't know, but he was there. That's for really bad people. Much more paperwork and stuff. Ooh. Oh, wow. Super dirty clothes and shoes. Mm -mm. That's kind of cool, but look at so gross. I'm just going to take that to the dump. Oh my goodness, look at this. Bathroom stuff, it's all moldy and stuff's been leaking. That's heck of gross. Ugh. Nasty. All right, guys. This is what Jana liked the most that she saw in here. <laughs> They're not full. They are dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Gross. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna put the gloves on for this. Got a bunch of gloves in here, so that was convenient. Now then, this thing is all busted up. Music box. Not much to save there. What's this? Made in the USA. Hmm. Pennsylvania. Shenango, China. Never heard of it. Hmm. Those are, I don't know. Are those interesting? Not sure, not sure. Camel stick holders. Hmm, diaper? That's gross. Also, guys, just so you know, like this box really stinks, too. I'm not sure what this smell is coming from. Oh, you know what the smell's coming from? Well, it looks like potentially rats got in here, and that it, that is the smell. Dang it. I don't know, maybe it just got wet. I, I, I just can't tell. Oh, that's lovely. You know what, guys? I know I'm going to get some hate over this, but this thing is just going to the dump right there. We're not even going to be messing with that. Bottom's about to give out on me, too. Nope. Nope, not doing it. it. Smells so bad in there. This one should be a little better because it was protected by the top one, but we'll see. It says Girl Scouts. Let's see. Oh. Some doll clothes right here. I'm not sure what that is. Boy, this stuff's old, old, old. Look at this. This is cool. Lake Tahoe, an old lanyard. <sighs> Neat. Cliff dwellings? I don't know where that is. Royal Gorge, Colorado, 1968. This is neat stuff. Colorado. Ben Lomond, California. Vancouver, Canada. Neat. Uh, San Francisco cable car right there. Columbia. Oh, this is, we've gone there, Columbia, California. This, this I've taken the girls there. This is that old town. We've shown it in videos a, a few years ago. Salt Lake City, there's the Mormon Temple. Ooh, this right here, though. Look at this. Disneyland. Super duper old. And then right behind it, San Francisco. They're kind of sticking together. Chinatown. Those are so cool. This might have a little bit of value right here. Hollywood. Lincoln. There we go. Girl Scouts right there. Pennant. That was neat. Gonna definitely put those in our keeper box. Texas, the Lone State. That's very old. 
so is that it's a little ceramic piece finally guys finally we're finding some interesting stuff here so jenna was right those not the first box but the second one's got some good stuff in it look at that pyrex right there made in the usa 410-12 ounce that is a cool piece and there's a, a set there's two of them yeah there's rat turds in here see that i did smell it right dang it bummer that's cool it's a puppet is what it is look at that neat that's kind of neat too pluto mini puppet it says oh what's this for it's got a clip right here is that for your toothbrush or something dave our original is from japan neat lucky the lion push button puppet these old textiles are cool another old pennant carlsbad caverns these old textiles I would normally put in our auction, but because it got the rats in here, we're not going to do that. All right, guys, we're back from the dump. Got my second load already started. Uh, the couch actually looks worse when I got it out in the sunlight. So, yep, I'm glad to make that gone. This thing is super dirty. Also, this uh, futon mattress or cushion or whatever you call it. So, but we, we made a nice hole right here. And because of that, I'm able to pull this thing out a little bit. This is an interesting looking desk. So let's see what's inside. Ooh, a little marble. And, huh, I don't know what that is. Some electrical thing, electronics thing, I mean. Hmm. Cards, 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 cards. Empty, empty, dang it. Okay, what's this? Oh, oh, okay, this is a sewing uh, cabinet. That's what it was. It's no sewing machine, but yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, let's get back to processing, unboxing, unbagging, whatever the kids are calling it these days. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Face plates to some old car stereos. Is there value in those? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. Car stereo stuff. All right, that looks like that goes to one of the face plates. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. That could be what goes to that one. I don't know, guys. This looks really junky. Super junky. Oh, okay. Well, those batteries are popped. I'll probably bring those home, recycle those proper. Um, yeah, man, that's this is this is not a very good locker. I mean, I think we can call it at this point. At this point in our lives, this point in our career, this chair right here is not too bad. You do see quite a bit of wear on there, but I don't see dirtiness. It is a recliner. I'm not gonna sit in it, but it does recline. So that's okay, I guess. Okay. Definitely been lowering my standards lately. <laughs> you know? All right. And back here, got these oak cabinets here. Hmm. All right, and then we got this too. Hmm. All right, that side might be too hard to get to. Let me, let me get over here. Oh, <laughs> can you guys see in there? It's dark back here, but that is, that's the grotius. I can't believe people cook their food in there. Oh, that's the grossest microwave I've actually come across in a while. We're gonna bring that right to recycle. That's, that's, yeah. Okay, what we got here? Getting to the point where I'm almost scared to open. Portable digital scale with tape measure. It's brand new. I think that's for luggage. So you hold it and it hangs and it, I don't know. It's brand new though. Okay, that's nice. A little organizer. I'm not sure what that's for. Just bubble wrap. Brand new belt. One dollar belt. How much do you think we'll get for it at the flea market? It was $12. Ah, look at that, guys. It was a dollar at the flea market. Now I think that's a $2 belt at the flea market. Yeah, we're making money. Is that Oakley? Ugh, dirty. RCA. This is brand new. Good Cook crispy baking set. Ah, man, should that go to Stockton? I guess. Five dollars. This is garbage. Mm, the case is cracked. Cracked. I didn't say something else, guys. Cracked. Okay, these are kind of neat. These old, like, 
I think they're replicas, but they're supposed to be like an old ice chest. Yeah, that's that's neat. Um, these I think actually sell, but I haven't had one in a little bit, so I'm not sure. I think they sell though. Let's see what this stuff is. Oh, brand new hair dryer, brand new maybe? Nope. I don't know if it's brand new. It's got scotch tape on the inside. Yeah. 2,000 watts, jeez. That's seen better days. Oh, I should put my gloves on. Yeah, just a cheap laptop bag. USB cable, and some readers, and some gum. All right, guys, we're in the back corner there. In this bag right here, Vans. Uh, I was kind of interested to see what that is about. What's it all about? And uh, this little kid clothes right there. Little kid clothes Ooh, sticking together. Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson little kid clothes though. Huh. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Oh, it's brand new too. Maybe we put that aside. Jessica Simpson, 24 months. Hmm. This is some nice stuff. Look at they bought it at Macy's. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's cool. But we will sell it all. We're gonna sell it all. At the flea market it goes. Say goodbye. Don't you cry. We won't get much money. I really don't care. I want to be done with this locker. It's making me depressed. <laughs> Just kidding, it's not. But I, I do want to be done with it though. I've had it. Soft microfiber sheet set. Dusty, but that's decent. That is a decent find. Get that stuff out of there. This is from that broken chair I found. Flapper. Flapper wig and uh, naughty French maid outfit. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's your duster. It broke though. Now the wig. I did find a wig earlier. I did not put it on, guys. And this one, I'm also not going to put it on. Man, this is a nice condition though. A nice, nice wig. This is not a cheap one. That's kind of an expensive one. These just, just these lockers are just so dirty in the back. Makes me not want to try anything on. Looks like an umbrella. It's for liquid. Yeah, more junk mail. Hmm. Yay. Oh, this is better. Brand new uh, spatula there. Or what they call a slotted turner. <laughs> Matches and some wire cleaning brushes. Next up, let's get this tub. Oh, it looks like garbage. <laughs> oh, where is that from? Liquid. Huh. Uh, it's some kind of, it's some kind of chemical. Dang it. All right, guys, it's starting to rain again. Uh, found some, hmm, I don't know if you call it good stuff, but we found some different stuff. There's a, some framed photos or faint framed pictures here, paintings. And that's a uh, little picture of a bathtub. I'm not going to throw it away. I'll sell that. And that, I don't know what that is. That looks like maybe a famous painting, but it's just a cheap print. But frame's okay. This is kind of neat. They're into cowboy stuff. Jack J. Wells. It's numbered out of 500 right here. That's actually kind of more interesting to me. That is a little more interesting, the cowboy stuff. I'll put that aside. And then this little silver plate piece here. Uh, but look at this. A balanced diet is a cookie in each hand. Okay, that's funny. Whatever. And then look at this, guys. Is that not hilarious? So, because we call our house the nut house. I call our house the nut house. Only since we started Locker Nuts. But um, this same picture, I swear, like a couple. I have a couple of these because friends find them and pick them up and give it to me. So it's a very, you know, common print here. I don't need that, but uh, just hilarious, right? It's hilarious. What else we got in here? Nice little clock. Oh, it's a candle holder clock. Oh, it's all bent up, but... And what is this? Oh, that's heavy. What's this? Ten bucks at Goodwill. Let's see. Oh, it's a poker set. Funny. Brand new sealed. Look at that. Never open. Okay, this one's open. These are all new. That's a nice... Even the cards are sealed brand new. Food for Less, though. Oh, Pro-Am Invitational. So, Food for Less must have sponsored a uh, golf tournament this is kind of funky right here but 10 bucks you know what i can get 10 bucks on that at the better flea market at the dms of flea market we can get 10 bucks on that so i'm gonna take that tag off there cool that's a decent find look at me getting all excited about ten dollars 
All right, Locker Nets, what's up? It's a different day. It's actually Monday. I'm back. You saw me moving a few things here, and uh, those going on my van. Here's what it looks like right now. Why is all this junky furniture going on my van? Well, that's because, and this is so lucky, but tomorrow morning they're doing a trash pickup day from the curb. They do these, well, they used to do them twice a year. This year there's three scheduled, woohoo! But uh, that's tomorrow. What perfect timing for this. Because um, I still have some stuff here, you know. This is going to go to the electronic recycling, the massage chair. I already asked them and they said, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to bring that over oh, maybe a little bit later today. I don't know. I'm running out of time because I got a live auction tonight. But I'm going to grab a few more pieces here. I think there's some more junky stuff. This is kind of nice. I think I'll bring that to the market. But back here, there's still some junky stuff. I'm going to pull out what I can, throw it on there. As you guys know, it's not the same as going straight to the landfill, right? When we put it on the curb, there's a whole bunch of people that come by at night to pick through it and take what they want. Maybe they'll take some of those chairs. I hope they take the sofa. That'd be great. It's actually a nice sofa. It looks comfortable. It's clean. It's just outdated, you know, but maybe someone takes it. Maybe they don't. I don't really care. I want it gone uh, because we didn't just buy this unit. We bought three units last week. So they're all big units. This is the first one. I needed to take care of this one first. I may have already said it, but the uh, facility has a customer that wants this unit ASAP. I got to get it cleaned out. That's why I'm in a rush. I'm working much faster and harder than I usually do. I usually take my time, but we do have a few more boxes back here. But you know what? I actually forgot my backpack. I left my cameras in the unit here and left my backpack at home with the extra batteries. I have a little bit of juice left, so I don't have time to do tons of unboxing, but let me get into those. If they look interesting, I'll start the camera and we can watch it. But otherwise, let's get this wrapped, wrapped up, wrapped up, wrapped, 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 wrapped up. Okay, guys, just like that, we're done. Went through all the rest of the stuff. Nothing real exciting, not real exciting. This is kind of a cool piece. It's too bad, so I was really hoping to get this little table gone, but then, then, but then, I opened it and saw it's a sewing machine, and I think it's not just a sewing machine. Oops. One-handed. This looks like a pretty heavy-duty machine right here. It is definitely beefy. It looks like a cast iron body. Um, what does that say? E-63... Five, four, or eight, four. I don't know. That looks like an industrial strength sewing machine, and if so, that's um, that might have some value. It really might, because with that, you can get through thicker material like denim, or uh, I don't even know. I don't know. What do I know? But yeah, I think it might might have some value. And then this is kind of cool. Look at this inflatable kayak. Never found one of those before. Itty wit, itty wit, inflatable kayak. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, that's kind of, that looks like fun actually. But yeah, other than that, not nothing, really. This cabinet I think is good enough to bring to the market. It's not like super great, but the glass, I don't know, and the funky shape, it might attract somebody. This unfortunately was empty. The kayak was on top of this. No, the kayak was on top of the couch actually. This is empty, but uh, Jana's parents are about to move. So these I think are 40 bucks, brand new. Might be a little more, I don't know. This one was thrashed right here because they had heavy stuff on top of it. No, they had uh, too heavy of clothes, pulled the bar in. So I think I'll just recycle that one. But uh, <laughs> the, 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 that's all folks. <laughs> not the greatest dollar investment. No, not even close. But we do have all this stuff right here that I stacked up. It's all sellable, sellable merchandise. Actually, everything in here should be sellable merchandise. The golf clubs look decent. These are like not even dusty. They look new. We showed those earlier. We'll have to look them up and see if they're, they have some value. This, I, again, I think this mattress is 50 to 75 bucks, even in Stockton. So we do have a little bit of Dianza stuff right here, which is our better flea market. There's a second bin that I already put away at our other locker. Two bins going straight to Dianza. And then this, this is the, what I consider the good stuff. All right, <laughs> Harry Potter audio tapes that are on CD, uh, little USB drive, I mean, brand new electronics there. This looks like some Oakleys, but they're a thrash. I'm gonna have to see if, once they clean up if they have scratches. They look like real Oakleys so. though. So there's some decent stuff, but not great, great, great stuff. This kind of thing right here was this, uh, this guy right here was in a poly bag like it had been mailed to him. Does not appear to be used. Still has the twist tie on it. But um, yeah, maybe we can look this up. Can OBD2 code reader. These are for uh, plugging into your car computer and reading the error codes or whatever. It might have some value. Could be 20 bucks, could be 100 bucks. It just depends on how new it is and how in demand. But And then all this stuff here is going to e-recycle. They said they'll take this uh, air conditioning unit too. So. 
So this trip of garbage to home, that trip to e-cycle, and then I think back tomorrow with a trailer U-Haul rental, and I'm hoping I can get all this in the U-Haul. I really do hope so, because I have some stuff in my other unit too, a van full in my other unit at my storage facility that um, has to go to the market. So hopefully I can get that in there. If not, it doesn't matter. It's secured and not going anywhere. I need to get this cleared out. So, ooh, that was a whirlwind, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I I still enjoyed it, but uh, man, really hoping for a little bit, little bit of excitement in these uh, big units like this because there's so much stuff to go through there's definitely lots of chances lots of opportunity this one didn't have it i actually don't think i had too many items worth over 20 bucks maybe the golf clubs and the mattress uh most other items are 20 or below and for the most part well below <laughs> But don't forget guys what we do. I don't think I mentioned it before this kind of is better stuff that we find like this Especially brand new stuff. We do save for our whatnot auctions So as I'm talking about where I'm sorting for flea markets and such that's the stuff that's like mm, The good stuff the best stuff we save for the whatnot auctions. That's our live live uh, streaming auction app Use it for your phone or tablet and like I always say, you can do it on the computer too, but it's best on the phone and tablet because you can enter free giveaways and do other stuff that you can't do on the on the uh, desktop version. But this kind of stuff right here, if this has like a $100 value, I might do it on its own. But usually with electronics, we just lot them up in a flat rate box and sell as much as fit in a box. We sell big lots. We sell them quick. 20 seconds per auction everything starts at a buck uh tonight we have an auction we've got marvel superhero statues we've got graphic novels we've got vintage computer games i have a nintendo switch for sale tonight a, a beautiful switch with all kinds of accessories sorry it's already gone by the time you watch this but i'm just saying we have some exciting auctions plus always we have jewelry coins and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that you see me pull out so um it's stuff you recognize from the videos because we won't sell stuff like this until after this video airs so make sure that you're following us on whatnot we do auctions every monday night sometimes other nights too but make sure make sure if you haven't signed up before you use our link when you sign up because that's going to get you a 15 dollars spending credit for free all right for free all you have to do is click the link before you sign up so it'll take you to the right place to get your spending credit when you sign up and that link is in this video it's also on our website lockernuts.com it's always there as well as links to our next auction our most uh recent or upcoming close whatever i'm butchering that but you know what i mean our next event will be on the website easy links try to make it easy for you guys because you know what i'm sure you work hard enough and that's uh just like these videos i made it easier for you to go through this locker with me you didn't have to get rat poop on you and thank you we'll be back in the next locker unless i film the flea market but probably not i'll probably just film the next locker and i'm pointing this way because it's not too far from here it's just like maybe five rows no maybe eight Eight doors down so right right down there it's the last one on the row we're gonna get in that one next and that one that one looked a lot better than this one so i'm hoping it is i'm hoping it is and i know you are too thanks guys for watching till next time good luck to you god bless you see you next time here on batman just kidding locker nuts i'm locker nuts <laughs>